Early years, <laughs> aspiring actress. Yeah. Getting started. Yes. New York. Tough going, right? It was awful. Like, I was, um, I was so unemployed that the... <laughs> that the unemployment office turned me down. <laughs> like, I like... Is that true? Yes, I was really unemployed. And so, at the time, um, like, I was just, like, embarrassed to be myself. Like, right. you know when you just wake up in the morning and you're like, ugh, I'm, like, embarrassed. Right. Um, <laughs> so, like, you know, you know when my I eighth... Do, I do know that feeling. <laughs> no, like... <laughs> I know what you're talking Even about. when my agent would call me, I was embarrassed for him that he represented me. You just couldn't get work. It was awful. Right. So every, and I had like two auditions a year. So every audition meant the world. Sure. So I got this audition for Royal Pains. And so this is like my life. I get a call back, amazing. And so it's my life. So I go to the hair salon the night before to like get a blowout and like get my nails done. And I even got my vagina waxed the night before. Like I just wanted to be like fresh for the audition. So, um... <laughs> so... There's a place where you can get a mold made. <laughs> Talk later about. Um, so you're there. So, everything's good. You have so your auditions. I'm next at day. the hair salon, and my boyfriend at the time calls me, and I don't pick up because I'm getting my hair done. So he calls again, and I'm like, I answer because I'm like, what's happening? So he call. I'm like, hello, and he's like, there's a fire in the building. Like the apartment was on fire. The apartment's on fire. Yeah. Yes, and I. He. It was true. I heard like firemen in the background. Mm -hmm. So he's like, quickly, what do you want me to retrieve from for, from the house? Like, do you want? What do you want? I'm thinking like, what do you do? Like my hard drive. Like I don't know. But then I remembered, and I don't know if this is superstitious, but I like to wear the same outfit on the callback as I do to the original audition. Right. And I had the callback the next day. So I was like, this is very important. I'm like, go in the closet and get my beige push-up bra, my black and white flowy skirt, and my pink top. And he's like, are you kidding me? I'm getting my passport and my social security card. <laughs> you want me to get your bra? And I was like, Nick, this audition is all we have in life if the, hu if the house goes in flames. So he's like, fine. He doesn't sound like that. No. I, that's, like, <laughs> that's just like the essence. That's the brawny paper towel guy. Yeah. yeah. So then the, he does then the next day, the landlord, because I am I was in Queens, she was like, oh, you have a good boyfriend. Like, he was holding you black pumps outside with the fireman. And I'm like, yeah, he's cool. So anyway, I go to the audition. <laughs> I go to the audition in the outfit. And the first thing the producers say is they compliment my outfit. So I'm like, well, I went through flames for this outfit. I told the story. Right. They loved it. I booked the job. Wow. And now... So I was convinced I booked the role not because of my acting, because I told this story. Right. So, so on the next audition, I'm like, you know what? Let me just tell the story again. I book that job too. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm no longer embarrassed to be me. Right. I feel good about life. And like, you start telling the story every time at auditions? Well, so I just felt like, it was the magic secret, like, yeah. to everything. Sure. So it changed my life. So I started telling the story everywhere I go. Then I go into another audition. I won't say the show, because I don't want to, like, get in trouble. But I go on an audition for another show that was big at the time. And I go and I tell the story. And, like, it gets a, mm, like, no one's laughing. It's really embarrassing. So the next day, my manager calls, and he's like, it looks like something backfired. <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean? Because I never told him I was telling this story because I knew he'd tell me not to, and I don't like when people tell me not to do things. So, um, so I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, well, apparently, he's like, people talk, Heather, you've been telling the same story for a whole year, and um, the producer thought it was just awful, and you kept people waiting. Anyway, you're blacklisted from ever auditioning for this show. But then he said, I believe in you, and even though you're probably going to go back to trying to collect unemployment, I think you'll tell this story on your first talk show. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. And here you are. Yeah. Oh. Did you want to make a drink? No. Did you want to make a drink?